Hey YouTube, this is Mike, MKMZR1, coming at you with a little update. Uh, you know, got tagged for a, a VR, which I did that one. This is probably going to be posted either right before or right after, but I wanted to give you a little update on some of the items that I've gotten in, some additions to the stable of knives. Um, <clears throat> been focusing more on some weapons, uh, firearms per se, rather than the blades. But blades are still in the picture. Still waiting for a few more to come in. Uh, a couple customs that I have going on right now. And I'm hoping that I get those before I actually have to fly out of here and go to Afghanistan. So just give you a little update. Uh, I'm sure some of you have seen this one on the video. But I sent uh, one of my striders off to Thor 153. And Matt did a spectacular job pimping this out. I had him bead blast. This was flamed TI, and I think that bead blast just looks cool. Gives it that just hard use look. It's not as uh, you know flamboyant as the flamed, but to me it just gives it that really really tough look. And I also had him bead blast the the blade because this was the striped blade. And it turned out freaking fantastic. Loved it. And at the same time, I had him change out my Lego scale. I had the green Lego scale on this. And I asked him to do a concealed carry version, which you can see this one's concealed carry. And it's in the gray color. And he bead blasted all the hardware. And then he did the backspacer with blue and gray. And this thing just turned out fantastic. If you guys haven't you know, talk to Matt or Thor about getting something done. He does a great job, you know. He knows what he's doing. There's nothing wrong with this knife. It, you know, I've, of course, it's pimped. It's a strider, so, you know, I don't care about the warranty. You know, I, th I think it looks a lot better than what it did. Um, it definitely looks new. Uh, the lockup is solid on it. Um, and there's no blade play. He did a great job. And, uh, I appreciate him doing it as fast as he did. Um, there's a lot of people out there that, that do great work when it comes to pimping knives. And, you know, if you want to share with the YouTube community, look them up, get a hold of them, help them out. They're, you know, they're trying to do what they love to do. And, you know, customizing your property and making it your own is just one of those things that, that us knife owners, gun owners, and everything like to do. We like to put our own little signature spin on it. And those guys out there that can do it and do it the way you, that you want it, it's always great to support them. And he did a fantastic job. Love this thing. It it feels just like a concealed carry strider, it, you know, except for the flat tie. But the tie is what goes against the outside of the pocket. And the concealed carry slides right in the pocket, no issue. It's just freaking smooth. It's one of my uh, favorite carry knives now just because of uh, the difference in the, the texture of the G10. Did a phenomenal job. So that's one that I got in. Uh, another Strider that I picked up. I'm just, uh, I'm just a Strider-holic. Can't help it. This is just a user SMF that I got off, got off the forum used. The Ghost Tiger Stripes. The Sand Bead Blasted Tie black lego g10 this is probably the you know toughest pocket knife that i carry you know as far as uh, mid tech or production you want to say but striders are just tough they're tough as nails love them uh the um smf you know striders military folder and that's what this thing's for for the military for people who who need a hard use knife you're not afraid to do any damage with it, and I'm not. Like I said, I was glad to pick this one up for the price that I picked it up. It's perfect. Still works. Got a lot of life left in it, and, you know, I can always send it to Strider if I need them to, to do anything because they got that lifetime warranty. So there's another one. Um, I know you've seen my uh, Microtech Select Fire Satin Blade, but... I fell in love with that one so much. Love the blade, the, the handle, everything. I had to go ahead and get me the all black tactical. 
because you never know. You know, I might be sneaking around at night or something. I can't have anything shining in the light. So, and on this one, you can see on the uh, the liner lock there, it's subdued right here. It doesn't shine. It's not necessarily black, but it's a uh, deep bronzed color, so it doesn't shine. The liner below it does. You can see the difference. But, yeah, they all black tactical. This one is just uh, titties. Love it. It's even, uh, it even opens quieter. I know, you know, Carter's done a review on it. Uh, a lot of people have done reviews on these, but, you know, they're getting scarce because they're not going to make them anymore. And if you're, you know, contemplating pulling the trigger, this is a freaking awesome, awesome production blade. You know, it's just freaking awesome. Love it. And another production that I picked up. Uh, there's a lot of people that were, you know, looking for this one, but and there's a, quite a few reviews that have already been done on it since it came out. But uh, the Spyderco Southern Flippered. This, in my opinion, is probably one of the best production knives made right now. Uh, when you compare it to a Chris Reeves Sabenza or an Umnumzan or a Strider or a hinderer for their production knives this one right here is I'm telling you is up there with them the only thing that you know I can agree with people is that freaking pocket clip I think Spyderco got that wrong as far as the design it doesn't line up on the outside as you can see it's a little bit off and it's too pointy at the tip by my thumb there that'll actually uh, cause a hot spot and it actually digs in into your hand it's it's pretty uh, sharp but the blade the frame frame lock itself the flipper um, to me this is this is the best production out there right now for the money and their prices vary from I think 225 to 300 bucks if you can get your hands on one and I definitely recommend that if you want a flipper production and for those Spyderco fans out there if you haven't got one of these uh, you're missing out these things are bad ass I've flipped this thing since I've had it I've probably flipped it 2,000 times and it still flips out easy as pie and the lockup is freaking awesome I haven't moved the lockup since I got it you know it's just a kick-ass knife comes razor sharp it's that CPS 204. It's just freaking, freaking nice. It's a kick-ass blade. It's a nice user. It's a nice carry. It's just, uh, just awesome. I'm thinking about getting, getting this one pimped. I've seen what Tough Thumbs did to his with the titanium, uh, and that looks badass. But I'm thinking maybe a different color G10, because they all come in brown right now. But perfect. They, uh, they nailed this one out of the box. So for you fans out there, Spyderco, I recommend getting it. Anybody who's looking for a, a high-quality production knife, spend the money and get this bad boy. Spyderco has definitely stepped up their game. Freaking awesome blade. So those are uh, just some few additions. Uh, like I said, I got more coming. Uh, I'm going to be getting some more firearms. Uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about some um, survival type bags. I've only got a few more weeks that I can actually make videos, but I'm gonna try and get a few more up and then uh, try and work something out for when I'm gone of how I can stay in touch with you guys, either you know sending somebody a video via email or however I gotta work it, maybe send a picture or something. But anyway, y'all stay safe, have a great weekend, and remember, Two is one, one is none.